What's up guys? Uh, I have another video. So this time we're going to talk about my beloved Nikon or as these uh, true Nikon fans call it, uh, the brand Nikon uh, D700. This bad boy right here. Um, this was my second uh, full frame purchase. Um, mostly as a daily driver or a daily camera. Um, I absolutely love this camera. It's um, a camera I don't worry about. I only got it for like like 200 bucks, I believe. It came with the battery. Uh, no lens, but I already had a lens because I was already invested in a, in a Nikon F3 film camera. So I already had a lens for it as soon as I bought it. And let me just tell you guys, this camera right here, phenomenal color rendition it's sublime um, I'm sure you can look on <clears throat> on YouTube or forums etc and you you'll just see why people ran about it so I did my research about this camera and you know I just wanted to see if it was true and I needed a, a beater a camera beater where I don't have to take my a7r3 out where I live I live in Stockton it's a pretty bad area and um, you know I wanted a camera where I can beat a motherfucker, or um, I get my ass beat, and if it gets taken, I'm not worried. Um, yeah, this camera right here, if something happens, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> so, uh, that's why I mainly got this camera, it's just something so I can worry less about, um, and let me tell you guys, it's been great. Um, you know, you can see pros and cons. There's a guy on YouTube. He has a great pros and cons list. But let me give you guys my pros and cons. Uh, first of all, 12 megapixels. Some people might think that's a con. But honestly, after having that A7R, uh, 12 megapixels is it's so fun to work with because it's my my camera, I mean, my phone just edits photos so easily. It's I don't have to worry about my phone overheating. Um... So really that's what I love about it. And honestly, you can make some really big prints off of just 12 megapixels. So honestly, don't believe what people say megapixels matter because I fell into that. And honestly, you guys, they don't matter. So um, yeah, 12 megapixels, I love it. Easy to work with on uh, Lightroom. Also, um, it's full frame. And the JPEGs that come out of this straight out the camera are crazy. Like. You think Fuji, Fuji film is great? They are, but this right here was a pre Fuji film, let's just say. Colors are amazing. They're beautiful. They uh, color tones are just accurate. It's nuts, and especially if the ISO is a little high, it kind of has a nice grain, and it looks like film. It's crazy. That I think that's why people love it because it it's almost film like. And I think when they made this sensor. It was almost film-like. So let me show you guys some photos that I've taken with uh, with this lens, which is look at that shit right there. Look at that. Fuck. Look at that. See how big that thing is right there? That hole right there? That glass? This is a 1.4 Zeiss 50 millimeter, um, <clears throat> 50 millimeter pl uh, planner lens, and uh, this lens here. It's not a modern lens. It's a modern lens disguised with as a as a vintage lens. The internals in this uses old planner um, uh, optics, so you're getting something that was probably from like the 50s or 60s in a modern camera. And you guys, it looks great. So let me show you guys how that looks. see great lens um, at 1.4 the the bokeh that it creates is like that old-school bokeh from old lenses um, it just looks crazy just it's just a little bit of everywhere but to me I think it's pleasing and if you know how to use it especially in portraits it's great because what this lens does at like 1.4 um, it kind of it gives a unique look to your face where it reduces the amount of wrinkles and any other uh, things that people don't like 
So um, this is a great, it's a great um, portrait lens, and also when you slop it down, it's, it's very sharp. Like around 5.6, I think that's when it starts actually being a good lens. It's not really sharp, it's just, it's a good lens, and it produces a 3D pop in the proper settings. So, the next lens that I use on my D700 is a, a lens that I recently got with the purchase. Um, this right here is a Nikon 35mm f2. Um, this is a great lens. It's a nice wide angle. This is actually my first um, 35mm lens. Um, I usually, I've mostly been fucking with a, a 50 millimeters. All my uh, amateur or somewhat, I guess, a little bit professional career. I would say amateur. My amateur career, mostly 50 millimeters. And um, the wide angle that I first got was a 24 or a 19 millimeter Sigma. But basically full frame 24 but anyway um <clears throat> no actually it was 19 millimeter then when i went to full frame i got a 60 millimeter sorry when i got um my full frame i i got my 24 millimeter g master and i've never had the in between which was the, this 35 millimeter and it's a great lens uh, it has autofocus so on my d700 it works um it's really fast actually. Um, the autofocus is, is great and I usually just have my focus in the center so this camera here honestly it's best shooting in the center. Um, it's not really that good on the corners and focusing. I mean it is but when you're manual focusing like this then it's 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 all good but with this one autofocus just point and reposition your shot in the center and that's it. But let me show you guys just uh, how, well, some of the shots that I've taken, I recently got this lens, so I don't have too many photos, but let me show you guys. Alright guys, so you've seen uh, some of the photos I've taken with that 35mm. And I also have this 35mm, it's a... Uh, it's an older lens, really old. Um, I actually was not able to take photos with it on my D700. Only for some reason it doesn't work. Or actually it does work, but like the aperture, this thing right here it locks in with, with the thing that's on there, I don't know. It, uh, it, it can break it so I don't use it. I use it on my film camera, so I'm not really gonna show you guys photos of, with that one, only on my film, but I'm actually selling that one, so you know. So now another lens that I use uh, is a lens I actually don't use too much on my uh, D700 because I prefer to use my 85. But I bought this lens because I got a pretty good deal on it at a photo source in Sacramento, California. Um, it's this. Some of you guys may recognize it. It's a uh, it's the 105 millimeter 2.5 AIS. Uh, this is a very very um, well-known lens in the photography community. Um, it produced one of the best images, as people say, for a National Geographic photo. I can't remember the name of the photographer, but you could just look up a, uh, you know, girl with the green eyes, Afghan girl, that's what it's called, Afghan girl, and it was shot with this on film. Um, this is a great lens though, it has a gauze style uh, lens design. Um, it has a metal hood. Um, it's really sharp, even at 2.5. Um, I just don't use it that much. It's because, honestly, most of the photos that I take with my D700, I really, I mostly just take photos of my family. Um, so, usually when I'm out and about, I have this camera, my D700, and I, I mostly just use it for family photos. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of uncomfortable showing, like, photos of my family, so I, I might, I will post some photos of them when I show you the shots I've taken with my lenses. So it's kind of new to me. Let me know what you guys think. But, um, yeah. Um, so here's some photos with the 105, 2.5. Um, uh, that basically is the video. I mean, great camera. Um, I would say buy it. Just do it. I mean, 
don't even think about it. Just do it. Just just buy the D seven hundred. Trust me. I mean, it's a great camera. Um, you won't you won't not like it. You will like it. You will love it. Um, only con, um, I guess it's just old tech. But I mean, just because it's old doesn't mean it's great. It's a great camera. Um, it's heavy, but I love heavy things. So me holding this, just I just love it. I I, I love heavy cameras. So um, yeah, guys. I mean. Just get it. Trust me. It's a phenomenal camera. Um, so just let me know what you guys think of this video. Basically just me showing my D700, my lenses, and um, some photos that I've taken. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, please comment. I would love to have someone comment. I know I'm new. Subscribe if you guys want. And, um, you know, uh, like, like the video. All right? Have a great one, guys. See you guys next time. Fredo's out. Go out and shoot. All right.